this wave. Uh, thrill seekers. Not recommended at all. Not recommended at all. You've been taking a look at the situation down there. What do you see? A lot of heavy, heavy rain. Here's a look at it right there. It says Tropical Storm Cindy. It's just pushing tons and tons of moisture through the atmosphere right into this direction. So it's a multiple state impact. It's going to take some days eventually swerving off to the northeast, but we're seeing heavy rainfall. You heard maybe up to 10 inches of precipitation when it's all said and done. This is passing right through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, over towards Georgia and making its way to the north. There's been some rotation in these storms too. That's why we had some water spouts uh, in the video that you just saw. So this is quite the system. If you do have friends and family in this location, uh, you might want to reach out to them just to make sure everything is going all right. For our neck of the woods, it's a much different story. Calm, sunny, great conditions to be outdoors. We have high pressure off to the southwest that's just cranking up the heat for those states there. And we have this northwest flow that brought in a few clouds this morning and it's keeping our temperatures a little bit cooler. We, matter, matter of fact, we actually had a couple locations start off in the 40s early this morning, so there was a chill in the air. It's 65 degrees right now, just a few clouds. Beautiful view over Portland. Great bike uh, weather if you can do some uh, cycling this afternoon. Monmouth at 68 degrees there at Western Oregon University. We have Skamania at 66 in Washington looking over the Columbia, and this is along the coast there uh, for Lincoln City where there's a few people out there, and why not? It's a great place to be right now. So here's the weather headlines. It's our first full day of summer. We're at 924 last night. We hit that summer solstice, so it's going to start feeling like it. We'll see summer-like temperatures by the time we get into the weekend for now. Just really comfortable weather here across the state. So 60s across the, the coast. We have Lincoln City at 60 today. Newport right around 62. We had those clouds in the morning, but it's going to bring in some sunshine for the afternoon. Uh, about the mid to upper 70s for a lot of locations. A little bit cooler to the north there for Kelso along the Columbia. Uh, we have 80 degrees for a high in Pendleton, 83 for Madras, and right around 80 degrees for Bend and through the Gorge, about 80 degrees for Hood River, and up towards Government Camp at 63. But today would be the day to get out there and go for a hike. You won't have to worry about the hot temperatures until later on this week. So look at this, 108 in Las Vegas, 109 in Phoenix, and it's only midday, 65 degrees here in Portland. So that's why everyone's just migrating up to the Pacific Northwest because the weather is just so nice here. We're going to tap into some of that heat by the time we get into the weekend. For now, they're just dealing with those excessive heat warnings, triple digit heat there. I expect us to be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer by the time we get to our Saturday, Sunday above our average. I think we're going to be in the 90s, definitely Saturday and Sunday. The last time we actually saw 90 degrees, both Saturday and Sunday on a weekend was back in July 18th and 19th of 2015. We've seen 90 degree temperatures throughout the work week. We've seen 90 degree temperatures paired with like an 80 degree temperature, but we haven't seen two 90 degree temperatures for a weekend since 2015. How about your seven day forecast? Thursday it's at 80 degrees, no rain in the forecast. It's looking pretty dry, so we're gonna hit a dry spell here. 87 degrees on Friday and Saturday and Sunday temperatures into the 90s. We might actually see triple digit heat by the time we get to our Sunday, Sunday afternoon for some locations. Monday at 90 degrees and then it looks like we cool back down. We finally get back towards average in the 70s. So if you want a kind of a, a feel of summer, we're gonna get it this week and make sure you're prepared and you stay cool. Yeah, so it's possible that we could see 100 degrees in the Portland metro area on Sunday? I think it's possible. For now, we're just going to lean towards the upper 90s, okay. but uh, some locations could see it. All right. Yeah. We'll be right back with a look at the